using vinyl stencils to paint on canvas. For anyone, like me, who loves to be creative but lacks drawing capabilities, here is my take on using stencils as outlines to paint and then clean up that painting using a smaller stencil and spray painting the background. Step one, pick your image. One that is not too intricate. I picked a wildflower image. Step two, in your Silhouette Studio software, trace the image to get a good solid yellow fill, usually by increasing the threshold to cover the image and then click trace under the trace style. Using the select arrow, Drag the image off to the left, leaving the traced image on the mat. Step three is to offset your trace, 0 0.050. Click apply and move it to the right so each trace is side by side. Step four, using your Silhouette Cameo, cut out each trace in vinyl. I used Oracle 631, but any vinyl will do. In fact, this is a good time to use up a lot of your scraps. With both traces cut out, weed out the middle of the offset and the outsides of the trace. Using transfer paper, move the offset onto the canvas. Using your scraper tool to rub vinyl onto the canvas, if you're using a framed canvas, you'll need to put something hard inside the back so you can apply enough pressure to release the vinyl and then remove the transfer paper. Now your canvas is ready to paint. I used acrylic paints to paint inside my stencil. You do need to remember that the stencil is just slightly bigger than the finished image will be when you're done. Remove the vinyl when the paint is mostly dry. This really only takes a few minutes or you can help it along with a hairdryer or a heat gun. At this point, I spray my canvas with a quick coat of Krylon Crystal Clear, which is an acrylic coating to prevent bleeding when spraying the background. This dries in about 10 minutes. Using transfer paper, I apply my original trace to the painting, leaving just a slight edge around the stencil and then removing the transfer paper. Using a heat gun on low or hairdryer on high, I heat the vinyl so I can push it into the canvas so every part is adhered to the canvas. Then I give a quick second coat of Crystal Clear to the entire thing. Now it's time to spray paint the top coat. I use Rust-Oleum Flat White and spray until covered. This usually takes two to three coats with 10 minutes in between each coat. When finished, you can't see any of the color underneath the white. I set this in front of a fan for about 20 to 30 minutes. When the top coat is not tacky anymore, I carefully remove the vinyl stencil to reveal my painted image. I just love the crisp outlines and vibrant colors under the white. Here is my set of three that I'm going to hang in my bathroom to match my new wildflower shower curtain. Here they are all framed and hanging in the bathroom. They turned out exactly how I wanted them to turn out.